Hey everyone, Delve here. Today I'm doing a preliminary review of Vampire Survivors. This video game is kind of famous, and when I saw the price for the game, I knew I had to give it a shot. Well, in reality, I've played the browser demo version quite a bit, and even that version, while crippled by performance problems, is exceptional for a browser game. Uh, it's quite good. I really have to mention that this full version is also plagued with some performance problems, right? You'll have issues where your direction, the move, direction you move will get locked, the game will lag or stutter, um, graphic, it's just, it's, it's also plagued by performance problems, but nothing so huge that I said to myself, I can't play this game. It's not like Spore or something where it just crashes continuously. So one thing about me and Vampire Survivors is that I'm actually a really huge Castlevania fan. So the Castlevania theme is really enjoyable. I think that if the visual, visual presentation was more vague and the theme wasn't so comprehensible, it would be a much, much harder game to like. And I try to avoid judging games on their appearance because I believe that it's possible for a game to be good with few or even no graphics. Uh, but I do really like the look and I think it helps make the game comprehensible to the average viewer. The bottom line is that the game looks good and thematically is easy to understand. Onto the gameplay, there's a distinct simplicity to the gameplay, it's unmistakable, it kind of evokes a roguelike quality, although it's important to note that, as far as I can tell, it it's really kind of barely a roguelike. You get a choice of random items, but uh, as far as I can tell, the waves are all fixed. So you will see the same enemies at the same points in time. Uh, so another thing is, quite honestly, it's not the same level of difficulty as one of the more infamous roguelikes, okay? This isn't a Binding of Isaac. Um, this isn't, you know, faster than light or something, at least at first, I don't know, maybe there's stuff, maybe there's stuff later in the game that I haven't gotten to yet that, that will prove to be insanely difficult, but for now it's, it's pretty paint by numbers, I'd say. Um, and I know there are, and like I said, mentioned earlier, there, there are levers to increase that difficulty. Um, although I do find it very hard to believe this game will ever, uh, will ever be the same level of challenge as some of these really hard roguelikes, right? Um, and I of course love hardcore video games. Um, but I'm also a big believer in the idea that not every video game needs to be insanely difficult. Um, and I find it really interesting that we have a video game here with that kind of roguelike feel, um, but without that really extreme difficulty that you tend to expect from roguelikes. And I think that's a little interesting. Um, uh, with that being said, I think there's two issues with the game. The first one is that items themselves are kind of an issue. Uh, the first issue with items is that the game only really seems difficult if you don't understand the magic trick with items and that being you want to draft all your weapons first okay um and then worry about the secondary items later another issue is uh with items is that you don't know what secondary items evolve what weapons at least at first it tells you later after you've uh, evolved the weapon but uh i don't really agree with this this is obviously done to encourage players to experiment um, but in a game this casual, I think that doesn't make sense. I think it doesn't make sense to incentivize me to look stuff up. Um, I think it would make more sense if they just told me what items evolved what weapons. Um, lastly, the other issue with this game, I think round lengths are too long, especially when you ha know exactly what you are doing. So 30 minutes just seems too long to me. You could probably have 20 minute rounds and it really wouldn't affect anything. Uh, the game would more or less be the same. Okay, so in conclusion, I think Vampire Survivors is a really good video game. There's no video game quite like it, in my opinion. It's very unique, uh, and I think that counts for something. That really, really, really does count for something, in my opinion. Um, and the, the casual charm, the great look, and at the end of the day, it's $4.99 for, for a pretty great video game. It's, it's a really good deal for a video game, uh, especially of this caliber. So absolutely anybody can afford that and it's easy to get into. And I think that's a really huge deal. Um, so maybe you guys know this or not. I'm a really huge fan of budget video games. And this is definitely a game that that uh, lives up to that uh, kind of level, I guess. It goes to show that creativity and simplicity in design can beat out any big studio, you know. So anyway, thanks for watching.